remember in Smash history that people still really cherish and value this game. Yeah, I always say Smash 4 was one of the big stepping stones in the community. We wouldn't be where they were unless Smash 4 grew and blew up as it did. I'll always be thankful for it, but let's get into this grand finals of Supernova 2024 Smash for Wii U. Shadow PR versus Marcus. Let's go. I love oh, that. Oh, are you dead? Okay, get the jump. Okay, and yeah, don't forget that little bump that Ness can do on that side. Not only does his head is quite the noggin, but it's gonna go and bump him to where he needs to. That cap was extra waxed. Yeah, sheesh. I need to give me one of those, all right? Whatever yeah, Ness is wearing, let me give that. The make is unbelievable. <laughs> He's working on it. <laughs> yeah. We need we need a franchise, or Ness. We, <laughs> yeah. we need a brand deal. That'll be our, here we go, retaliation. Let's see what he can do here. I like it, waiting and catching that landing. Marcus not panicking, trying to get that landing, but he's air dodges. I'm getting a little nervous. We're not seeing those aerials the way we saw it in the last set with Marcus and the other Bayonetta. Mm. But we're now seeing these air dodges. I'm not sure uh, what the change is, maybe percent base of, hey, when am I gonna die and when am I actually not? But mm. could be just trying to avoid damage at that case. Oh my, oh. my oh, friend! No. My and friend. charging it up. Bye. Nice. See ya. Bye, Nara. <laughs> fun, fact, fun fact about Witch Time. So actually, there's a negative multiplier um, if you do smash attacks while it's active. But if you wait until slightly after, you actually don't get that. So it's a little bit of a timing game. OK. Well, then great timing on the side of Shadow PR to really just understand when we're supposed to go for that. Uh, not only Witch Time, but even waiting as to when he can actually counter with that up smash. And it's now, oh man, what an SDI upwards. And that almost costed him. But Marcus may have even lived compared to another situation he could have put himself in. It's going deep. OK, how are you going to recover, though? He's in the Witch Time. Can't grab the ledge here. So opposite just kind of juke a high above the ledge. But Marcus, yep, going to get that back throw and clean things up a little bit. Continuing where he left off. It's as if he didn't even lose a stock. Drop down with that jab, setting into a disadvantage moment. Love the jump air dodge. Very popular in this game. That's something you can do. But hey, yo, getting out a little bit too far back. But jab, down tilt. Wow, into the up air. That was so beautiful on the side of Shadow. Yeah, a little bit of freestyle action right there, recognizing that Marcus was trying to get out of that. So just giving him a little bit something for his trouble. His uh, mixtape going to be fired. You know the vibes. <laughs> you know, I'm going to yeah. be a sale one tip. All right, a little bit of some ultimate action. Unfortunately, not going to plan out, reminding him that, no, nah, man, this is my game. Shadow PR taking game one. Yeah, beautiful back here right there. And, I mean, Shadow PR, a phenomenal as uh, they're playing, is going to have a long road ahead because that's uh -huh. a – reset the bracket and then take the win if they want to win the whole thing. Yes. Marcus, though, definitely not a stranger to being a top player in this game and understands what needs to be done. And I think that first game was a great testament to see, OK, this guy's on fire. He's been playing, you know, four sets in a row now. Let's see if I can break up this momentum a little bit and maybe slow it down. But not even a chance. Again, Shadow no PR. Job. Sheesh! Just like, again, it just there was no break. This is the same game as the last one. Let's continue. Yeah. To be continued, oh wait, it's a double feature. Yeah, that's it. Get the popcorn, we will be here all Sunday. Yep. Love the SDI from Marcus to go down this time, mixing it up so that he can hold on to that stock just a little bit more, 66%, and the cross up, getting through, not gonna find the aerials needed, just having a hard time finding any hit against Shadow. But here we go, back air, we, uh, back throw, excuse me, we needed it. That paper grab was massive. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I was shocked. I was flummoxed, Steve. Yeah, I forgot how big these grabs are. I, like, grab people today from, like, a whole foot away from me, and I say, wait, what? I missed that. <laughs> yeah. I missed that. Give me more active defense. Give me more ways to break through shields. For sure. I mean, I feel like the meta and ultimate would have changed so much, as yeah. it does in this game. Ooh! If you're going to go ahead and swing a bat like that, I'm going to fall for it, though. Shadow holding out and making sure that he lands something that will hit in a reaction versus read moment. Yeah, I mean, uh, Shadow looking like Marks is Shadow, right? Or, yeah, no pun intended. But wherever, <laughs> wherever he is, <laughs> Shadow was right behind him the whole way through. Yeah. Again, following is every step. Like you said, Shadow lingering into the distance, not even letting you leave and be alone for way too long. Countering act, no matter how many of these sides, of these up specials you're going to put, I'll wait right here. And when you're done, I'm going to cancel you back and get right back to where I need to be. All right. Back throw shouldn't do it yet, but still going to send you coast to coast. Play Thunder steps and PK Thunder shenanigans. Oh, One you're so, yeah, good tech. Okay, grab that stage, watch it. Here it comes. No, no yo-yo this time. He learned his lesson. He said, I know what happened last game. Fourth throw again. Shadow continuing this momentum, but up there again, the cap coming in handy. Knocking him out to the blast zone, one stock apiece. It almost looked like Bayonetta's leg was extended, but the hitbox wasn't out yet, so that uh, up air just absolutely plowed right through there. Right. Okay, 
Try going for the Nair, but again, when you are underneath your opponents, even if it's not Bayonetta, you have advantage. You don't want to land on that opponent with, a, with an area like that that has no hitbox on the top, and because of that, you're going to die for it. And that's 2-0, just like that, Kells. I don't know. We're looking down the barrel of a reset right here. My man Shadow PR is playing phenomenally. I am so beyond impressed. I did not expect the kind of adaptation and the learning curve that he's doing during this entire bracket. Like, I feel like every set we're watching him in, he's improved every single game. Facts, facts. And on top of that, like, he wasn't even a super high seed for the bracket. C, C 34. Oh, my God, brother. <laughs> like, no one could have predicted this. He would have. He will never be seeded 34 ever again. And yeah. I hope people remember his name. Shadow PR continuing to start off Smashville quite strong, opening up with the 23. But the rebuttal, Mark is not wanting to let go of that trophy of holding into first place in the grand finals. He does have an entire set up ahead of him, so it's not over yet. Not by any stretch. If anything, we're near the halfway of the road, but Marcus might find a way to get that road a little bit longer. You know, what's the opposite of express lane? Maryland traffic, I'm at. <laughs> yeah, trying to put us in some traffic here. Oh, man, my man in the two lane, okay? And he's yeah. single, and it's not going so well. Getting off, getting back to the right side of the lane, comfortable parking, and here we go. Back in the neutral, responding, and I like that Shadow has retreated, understanding that it is not his turn just yet. Hey, oh. what's up? <laughs> That's within also props at the end of witch time as well. So it's a very, like, there's a lot of lag to it, but it's also tricky to punish because where that lag will actually give you reward is a bit ambiguous. What a jump. I love that. A shadow every time. Adapted once again. Marcus jumped out and kind of went for the SDI away and down. That should not do it, Bayonetta. Got some, uh, got some meat on her. <laughs> no, Kanaki, she's like eight feet tall. Like right, that's why. Right. I mean, yeah, she's a she's a witch, and True. Uh, she, I, I feel like she's dead in a way, right? Like I don't know, she's in the undead area. I forgot like what the place is, but uh, yeah, she's she's everywhere. Um, Umbrio, Umbreon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know um, which she Umber witch, yeah. Umber yeah. witch. There you go. Okay, the girl is dead. You can't kill what is already dead, and that's what makes things a little dangerous. But that fourth throw says otherwise, and making sure that you go back to where you belong, because this is my game, and the side of Marcus looking so clean. But here's the rebuttal. Coming in from Shadow. Excellent DI right there. Able to survive that back air, even coast to coast. And now this is where things get tricky because Nest with Rage is so scary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How are you going to recover? I love that. The bait, thinking I'm going high and then just dropping down. Oh, great job. Down tilt up there. Classic to bring it back to this last stock. Again, the momentum, right? This, this constant adaptation looks so good on Shadow. Yeah. Good stuff, that's really good stuff, but going to be forced to a lower cover here. And ooh, what a mix right there. Ooh. It's working all the angles. Bayonetta knows what she's doing with that, though. I feel like it's uh, Bayo and Shadow, right? Both yeah. of them in the same hands, looking so clean. Like the SDI, a little, again, like you mentioned, that pop out, that last hit, I feel like didn't connect the way it should. And Marcus saying, thank Jesus it didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You do not want all the extra damage in this break situation here. Yeah. Man, these two phrases, these kind of this window of whenever you're going to Aeronaut, I'm going to counter you right back, right? The frame traps looking so clean on the side of Shadow PR. All right, nice down. Nair. Just going to hang out there with the PK Thunder. And there we go, rinse and repeat. I don't think any resources got back, so yeah, you just have to go high and pray for the best. Luckily, though, that platform on the side of Shadow PR, I'm here for you. Here you go, bro. I land right here. I'm feeling good. But this back throw is not going to save you. Instead, taking it finally game over for Marcus. Yeah. So, one on the board. Again, start of the road. Marcus has a way to go to take this uh, tournament. He needs to win at least two more games in this set. But Shadow, I mean, it took a lot. It took two games in your counter or your opponent's counter pick for them to be able to take a game off of you. Yeah, yeah. So you have to be feeling pretty confident. I think that game, he was maybe feeling overconfident, right? Possibly. I feel like even though he was playing just as aggressively, just as poised, his momentum felt a little bit more lazy of just, hey, I'm going to do this, but I can get away with this. So he kind of overextended in some areas that maybe he shouldn't have, and I think that's where Marcus took advantage and said, yo, let me remind you who I am. And that's why we're seeing quite the markup here on the second game. Oh, oh, oh. Yippee! No home run there, unfortunately, but running back to second base and taking the hold of this chapter and pulling you out, making sure that I'm letting you know I'm still in this. 
All right, but even still, the mix is still going. Shadow PR just taking a ton of damage. Marcus is in complete control right now. The PK Thunder seems to be a big make or break. Fishing for an air dodge, not giving anything up. Shadow could jump center stage and get some good damage here. Battlefield has big blast zones, so yes. you know you don't have to worry too much about getting killed or janked early by Gayonetta or uh, Bayonetta, but it's still going to be like a big problem here. Yes. Especially the way that we've been seeing Shadow PR. I mean, he's won every game on Battlefield. He's played so well here. His momentum, his way of moving is so clean. That will definitely take the stock, though. And it comes down to the patience once again. I think now Shadow may be exerting too much of that energy of I'm in your face. And Marcus is just staying calm and keeping his energy in reserve. And is now exploding in the way that we wanted to see him in the beginning of the set. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, forcing a lower recovery here. That Nair, Swiss Army knife of this matchup. But Marcus not having enough steam to use the PK Thunder 2 to get out of dodge. So Gagan's still damage. Oh, that was scary. That was scary, Kel. Yeah, a little bit. I felt it. I, I, I got a little bit of some goosebumps. But uh, Shadow definitely did not hang it in to the edge of glory. And Hank, to just not get hit out into the blast zone, try to put out a forward smash. Marcus denying it. That forward smash. Jeez. Yeah. I respect how Shadow's willing to uh, swing for the fences, though, you know. You got to put that fear in your opponent. Make sure that they know that you will do it if you give the opportunity. For sure. Down tilt up air is going to be enough and still a stock to play with, but Shadow PR, a healthy bit of rage. I think weathered a bit of the worst part of the storm. Yeah, that's it, right? You got to keep in mind that you're the best character in the game and uh, Mark is that kill percent. So keeping that in head, I think that's going to be an opportunity here. But I like that this time respecting that it's not his turn and went to the stage, but unfortunately just overextended a little bit, and that's why Marcus got what he needed. Back throw won't be the KO here, but quite close. One more of those will definitely do it. Yeah. There it is. Or an up air as well, and there we go. We got ourselves to game five of Grand Set 1. Man, I love this game. This like, that so was cool. a two-minute set. Yeah. Let's just, like, that was a two-minute game. If you went to the bathroom and came back, and now you're at a 2-2, like, that's how fast this game goes. So don't go anywhere. This is a great grand final between these two. The adaptation from Ness in the hands of Marcus is phenomenal. All right, and it all comes down to this. Will Shadow BR, BR be able to get the reset? I'm not quite sure. It's starting to lose some steam, but you just need one more game. That's a fresh bracket, fresh set. You need to get yourself back in it, lock back in, and this could be it, Kells. This could be the end of the tournament here. It all comes down to this. He's feeling it. Mark is definitely playing more himself the way we saw the other time. I feel like in the beginning, we were seeing a lot of those air dodges and these, these decisions. You don't see too much. I thought we were going to see a forward smash, but an F tilt instead comes out. Overextension, though, that's an opportunity. And falling out, great stuff. Mark even though made a mistake, was not going to let it go to him. Now, you're not going to get that air dodge, man. He hasn't given it to you, so it's probably not coming. Yeah, I mean, you have to work for every single thing in this matchup, and the fact that um, these, these players are not scared enough to go for these air dodges is pretty huge. But, again, another overextension. Shadow tripping over himself over and over, and Marcus is, you know, supplying, like, supplying a cushion. Just like, okay, Ooh. if you're going to trip over yourself, let's make a soft landing, just because I like you, okay? Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I like the patience. The shadow was no way going to contest against that. Yeah, you go recover. No problem. I'll follow you later and get what I need. But now Marcus is back in control on this stage. Missing, though, the throw. Let's see if he can get something out of these back airs, these sharks. That's what we've been seeing on the hands of Shadow. That's what's been so good. Forcing out an air dodge. Here you go. No jump. Okay, going for the ABK this time. Are we got a back here? There we it is. Time. Finally. And line it up. Knock it down. There we go. Shout out VR for evening things up. I love the head shake too, right? The way that a Shadow was just like, okay, no, you're still in this. Like, we can take this at any moment now. One more. Yeah, it's legitimately a cutscene. You're in witch time for a very long time. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. You can, like, bite your nails, so, like, take a walk, whatever yeah. you need. That's your time to breathe. Yeah, meditate, think about life. That's it. Okay, I like it. Patience. Shout out PR. We haven't seen this. Again, adapt adapt adapting here on the ledge. Watch it, though. That's a multi hit. Shadow recovering. Here we go. Going up, up, and away. Not going to be the blast zone that you need. Battlefield coming into Marcus's hand. Yeah, almost a bracket reset right there, but Marcus lives to die another day. Back throw won't grow. kill, but it will put you in a very bad position to get some more damage by the PK Thunder. But Marcus not able to line it up quite right as Shadow gets the Witch Twist. This could be huge, but nothing doing. That's a lot of lag kills. Man, how are you going to recover? I feel like I wouldn't be so worried about Bayonetta, but my gosh, I've never seen it more than that. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus just won Wii U singles with Ness. Amazing work. 
at the moment that you or that uh, Shadow was lined up on that platform, I was like, I think Ness covers all this with an up air. Yep. That's it. A check, check, checkmate situation, and that's what Marks was so, doing so good at setting up over and over. Ben has a strong character with a lot of options, but when you put her in the, these tech chase situations and put her in these awkward uh, areas, Marcus was able to capitalize on it over and over, get the medals out already, and amazing work winning the whole thing. That's huge. His friends, Clap too, there for congratulations to Marcus. I mean, he's wanted this for so long. He's loved this game for so much, so well-deserved. Even though I loved seeing, again, Shadow slowly adapting, it was just a bit too late there. I don't think he had enough steam to really bring it home, and he was put in that tech chase situation that was just lined up, like you said, for that home run. Mm. It was great, and I loved seeing even just how the crowd was so engaged, too, right? Everybody was watching Wii U, and especially Ness taking it over Ben. Now that's such a statement here at the first Supernova. I think uh, that, that, that's quite the explosive speed that you can put out. Absolutely.